I'm going to show you which settings to use on your Alienware AW3225QF 32 inch 4K ultimate high definition monitor to get the best HDR picture quality. Actually, scratch that for a minute. I'm going to show you which settings are best for me. There is no such thing as best settings for this monitor. There are other videos and websites that will tell you to do something different. So it's really up to you which settings you prefer. Anyways, let's get into it. Once again, we're going to be focusing on HDR settings. The first thing you need to do is go into your display settings and turn HDR off. If you don't do that, you won't be able to change the on-screen display settings on your monitor. Press the settings button on your monitor. Then go into game, preset modes, creator, color space, and change color space or make sure it's on DCI P3. Then go into gamma and you're going to want to crank gamma up all the way to 2.6. Then go into your brightness and put brightness all the way up to 100. After you're done that, go to display. Once you're in display, go to smart HDR and make sure it's on display HDR true black. Then go into Dolby Vision and make sure it's set to dark. That's all you need to do in your on-screen display settings. From there you're going to need to turn HDR back on in the display settings in Windows. Your screen will turn black or flicker for a few seconds. After that, click on the arrow to the right of HDR. Crank up the SDR content brightness all the way to 100. Now you might be thinking that my monitor looked better before I did all this, and you'd be right, but that's because my monitor doesn't have an HDR picture on it. Here's what it looks like before and after with actual HDR images. This is an image before the changes, and this is after. You can see how much brighter and crisper it is. Before and after next to each other, and again. If you're interested in learning more about why I use these particular settings, please look at the description below. Things like, why did I use DCI-P3 for color space? And why did I crank gamma up to 2.6? Also, if you're interested in this monitor, there's a link in the description below to purchase it. Thanks for watching.